lot of people don't know, a lot of stuff happens in Austin yeah. and all these other state legislators. So you got Empowered Texan, which was the first right. uh, organization to really start this state legislator watch. Some other states are doing it as well, but they're watching the state legislators see what they're actually doing. I love that, and there needs to be more of that. I mean, and I know it's not the attractive, like appealing, sexy kind of stuff that you get federally, but it's really it's just as a well apparently more people don't like them because they got served by the Texas Ethics Commission which is re normally responsible for all the um, voting uh, I'm sorry all the fundraising uh, and who's donating toward these candidates well they decided that they wanted this organization to turn over all their donors um, who had been given to them their phone numbers all the emails that they sent because they needed to register as lobbyists but they're not lobbying. They're not a lobby. It's a media organization. They post everything on a website. They have a blog. They send out newsletters. But the Texas Ethics Commission said, no, you're did a the, lobbyist. Did the Texas Ethics Commission change the definition of what it is to be a lobbyist? Apparently. Without, like, notifying, you know, Texans? Well, it's funny because this organization decided to make a constitutional argument, that, and the Texas Ethics Commission said it didn't apply here. So... <laughs> After Michael, who was the president of this organization, decided not to turn over this stuff, they fined him ten thousand dollars. They can do. We're in Texas. We're in, in Texas. Texas. We're in Just Texas. Just want to put that out. These are Republicans. Republicans targeting targeting Republicans. I mean, everybody's heard about Lois Lerner and what she does. Yes. But Republicans targeting Republicans. <laughs> Wow, this is not, mm, there's, there's a reason why, oh, of there's course more. there is, there's Lawrence. So Michael decided that he's going to appeal. He said, I'm not right. paying this. Good he's a him. resident in Denton County, um, but his organization is based in Austin because the legislator is there. Well, of course, Austin is liberal. This is the same uh, court that sentenced, you know, didn't sentence, but indicted Governor Perry. So they, the Texas Ethics Commission, they wanted they it to be that there. wonderful Rosemary lady. Well, they decided to come to Denton, and the judge basically threw it out. Yeah. <laughs> so I know that there has been a legislative effort to mm -hmm. try to deal with these regulations, and it ended up, tell me about, because we have the Harry Reid. Mm -hmm. He is, I mean, he is Texas's Harry Reid, Joe Strauss. Joe Strauss, Speaker of the House. He ended up trying to restrain this. So tell me about his actions. He, he decided to form this bill to basically make these people turn it over. So he said, okay, the Constitution doesn't work, all this, so I'll just create a state law saying that all these organizations, which is funny because this is the same argument they made back in the day against the NAACP. Uh, it's a Supreme Court case, Alabama versus the NAACP, yes. when they wanted to target these groups, uh, these civil rights groups and organizations, and the Supreme Court said, no, you can't do that. Anyway, they decided to make this a state law. Well, they rushed it through the Senate, and once they realized what they did, they tried to recount the vote. Well, the governor said, well, you know, I'm just going to veto it anyway. And, and thankfully, Governor Perry did. But I mean, so that and that would have it would have applied. It would have applied to the NAACP even in Texas it, too. It would. Oh my gosh! But they didn't care. They this didn't went care. all the way to court. This is still in court, by the way. Um, so when they transferred to Denton, the court said basically this is total nonsense, you know. And they, the state, decided to file an appeal. So in, in Power Texas, are there groups like this? Is, I mean, are There's they There's one in Mississippi, okay. um, but they're all using this same model. model. Right. This was actually the first one in the country. So if someone is, if, if they're subpoenaing, if they, if, they, if, they, if they want to subpoena and get information about donors from Empower Texas, I mean, mm -hmm. what if, I mean, basically anyone who's donated, all of that information is going to be public. But then what kind of precedence is this setting for Empower groups in other states and not even groups that are, you know, like Empower Texas, just different groups that maybe are modeled similarly. What significance does that mean for these groups in other states as well? Well, the, it's, it's all ability. Uh, these legislators are trying to target these local groups so they can't basically have a voice heard. You know, th this is a Republican ran state, okay? But when they're in power, of course, this conservative organization goes after their voting record, and they didn't like that. And so what you're going to see is other states try this same old strategy. The Supreme Court has already ruled. You can't do that. They want to target the people that are actually giving to these organizations. It's not so much the organization right. that they want to dismantle. It's the people that are giving so, to these organizations. Yeah, the people that they want to go after.